The equipment we'll be using in this example includes a clamp-on ammeter, a voltmeter, recording voltmeters, and basic personal safety equipment. For the most part, troubleshooting begins with a radio dispatch to a crewman in the field. The dispatcher indicates that a customer complaint has been received. The man acknowledges the call and proceeds to the location. When he arrives, he'll first go to the customer to discuss the problem to try and get an idea of what he's up against. In this case, the customer says the problem has been affecting equipment and that the symptoms only seem to happen occasionally, several times a day, but not continuously. One of the first things checked is the customer's main breaker panel. The workman connects his voltmeter for a phase-to-ground reading. The phase-to-ground voltage is found to be within the acceptable tolerances for this system. All readings are approximately 120 volts. Keep in mind that acceptable limits vary on different systems. At this point, the crewman can begin to narrow the possible problems. If the difficulty were an off-ratio winding or ferroresonance, he would expect to find two phases with normal voltages and one phase much higher. The customer's phase-to-phase -phase voltages are also within acceptable tolerances. Again, if the problem were an off-ratio winding or ferroresonance, the readings would be out of the acceptable range. Normal phase-to-phase -phase readings also tend to discount an open leg as the cause of the problem. If this were the problem, the phase-to-phase -phase readings between an energized phase and the open phase would have been much lower than normal. Also, an open leg wouldn't show up as an intermittent problem. Next, the phase-to-ground readings are checked once again. He holds the probe longer on each phase and notices that even though the voltage remains in an acceptable range, it tends to fluctuate. Because the voltage readings were fluctuating and the problem is intermittent, the problem may be an open neutral. So next, the three-phase transformer will be checked for proper operation. He first makes a visual inspection of the transformer exterior for obvious signs of damage or tampering. This is part of his company's procedures and is a standard safety precaution before attempting to open the transformer. After putting on the proper safety equipment, the workman opens the transformer and makes a visual inspection of the interior. He checks the secondary connections and terminations to make sure they're not loose or corroded, paying special attention to checking the secondary neutral. All of the equipment appears normal. Next, the phase-to-phase -phase and phase-to-ground readings are checked at the transformer connections. The voltage readings are still within the acceptable range.